How's it going guys? Cold Day back again, dropping out another video. Right guys, I'm fuming with this story. Uh, as you can see from the title, Pervert Spail Prison failed to attend a single day of a sex offender course and then got caught with more indecent images of children. Right, I got remanded on a witness intimidation charge, right, with no evidence, no forensics, no DNA because it didn't happen. It was a malicious allegation. I ended up in prison for months uh, on remand. This guy's got indecent images of children. Got must have had a sexual harm prevention order or something, or an, is it like a there's a sexual like they get these programs and stuff, don't they, in prison? But it was failed. But this guy must have been at probation, must have said, Look, we can work with him, keep him in the community and stuff, and he'll have to come to the sex offenders program. Um, can't cure a sex offender, guys. Attracted to children, always attracted to you. Literally, if you like, I said to you. This guy didn't go to prison, but if you go to prison attracted to men, you leave attracted to men. You go to prison attracted to women, you leave attracted to women. You go to prison attracted to children, you leave attracted to children. No amount of psychological therapies and all these dickheads that think, oh, we'll just talk your problems out, okay? Doesn't work. Doesn't fucking work. Right? Simple. Noose. Right? Six foot drop, two foot roll. Bam. Right? Bullet. Fucking castration. You cannot use what is not there. Right? These scumbags, guys, should never be released from prison. They are a danger. Look at the other person from Liverpool. John Venables. Killed little James Bulger along with Robert Thompson. Then got done seven years ago for having indecent images of children. Get some again this year. Should never be released from prison. And he's hiding behind his anonymity order. Right? And like I say... They should, do you know what, for me, right, what they should do with, with these, like, it's just, they're just sick guys, they need, they need dealing with, do you know what I mean, it's not right, it's not right in any which way, you cannot reoffend. Uh, sorry, you cannot um, rehabilitate a sex offender, sorry you can't, so anyway, let's, let's, oh he was crying in the dock apparently, uh, crying Craig Curran, the, the, the ginger haired pervert you can see at the start of the video, was given a second chance, but threw it away and was caught with another stash of indecent images of children. A pervert, spailed, uh, sorry, a pervert spare jail after he was caught with indecent images of children failed to attend a single day of his sex offender course. Police found Craig Curran's sickening stash after they were called to his home to investigate a de reported domestic incident. So on top of that, he's beating his bird. They discovered his partner and her children distressed. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. When he, even though he didn't go to prison, he was a convicted uh, paedophile. Right? He refused to go to the court. He didn't go to one day of the course. And then the police went to a domestic abuse incident at their house. They discovered his partner and her children distressed. Right? What the fucking hell is going on? I know people that are prisoners that are violent and got violent tendencies. And social services are involved. Because like... Be, the, I'll give you an example. Like there'd be a phone call from on a prison phone, and someone say, "Oh, I'm going to fucking kill you." And social services are involved. This fucking bastard had indecent images of children, right? And then he's still with his missus, and she still got kids. Where the fuck are social services? Them kids should have been taken away from him. She's not safeguarding her children. Them kids should be taken and put into care. The, the, the people that I know have had social services involved. Prisoners and then their girlfriends, right, who are, uh, who are fantastic mothers that live for their kids, have got social services sniffing around because the, the fella's got violent tendencies because he's had an hard life. And then he, just on the phone, says, I'll fucking kill you, like in a, in, a, in a row, which is a figure of speech. And they've got social services all over them now. Uh, don't do names on this channel, but uh, yeah, um, absolutely. <sighs> So they went to his house on a domestic abuse incident and they discovered his partner and her children distressed and Curran hiding in a bedroom at the property. Right, So he might not have been able to see her but he's sneaked round and he's hiding because he knows that the, the social service is going to be on him. Oh, this was uh, at the property, this was December 2016 this, but the story's just come out um, on the 23rd of November. Um, wow guys, just let me get through this. So he was in the bedroom at the property on December. He was hiding in the bedroom. His mobile phone was examined and found to contain 203 category C, the least serious category, and two category B photos. No, no, no. There is no fucking least serious category. 
fucking indecent images of children by having them images on his phone right he he is fanning the he is fueling the demand by these people that abuse children on camera right to make these images and abuse children he's fueling the market for it 203 categories the least serious category i don't give a fuck there's no such thing any fucking sexual pictures of children's wrong the the, the categories cat c cat b cat a cat a is the most serious um he later confessed but wasn't sentenced until january the 29th this year he was handed a three-year community order Curran was told to attend a rehabilitation activity requirement lasting 40 days and an Horizon Sex Offender Treatment Program. But the 30-year-old of Highgate Court, Edge Hill, failed to complete a single day of the rehabilitation or the Horizon courses. There's people in prison for not paying TV like, license and fucking, like, fucking not paying council tax and shit, not paying parking fines. Currently was placed on the Sex Offenders Register for five years, admitted breaching the order at Liverpool Crown Court. Uh, Zahi Bakri, prosecuting, said, to date, the defendant has not completed any days of the rehabilitation activity requirement. In terms of contact with his offender manager, the last contact was on the telephone um, on November the 8th. Despite his lack of cooperation, the court heard the probation service was willing to continue working with Curran. Are you fucking kidding me? Miss Bakri said, if the defendant is, uh, is persuasive today and demonstrates a willingness to re-engage, the probation service would like to wish the order to continue so first time right then he got he, he didn't he was lucky he should have gone to prison and he should have fucking hung him right but obviously they don't do that here anymore um and then he's got off with it he's got a three years super like a community order right he's then done it again he's with his woman with his missus who's got kids where the fuck are social services and he got and then the second time he's got indecent images again and then probation are still saying oh we can work with him we can rehabilitate him. What a load of shit. Can't rehabilitate sex offenders. End of story. I'm sick of saying it. Wish the order to continue and to try to make progress. Progress. Take him outside. Strap him into a chair and put a fucking... Put a nine mil in his head. End of. Judge Trevor Jones said this was extremely generous. No shit, Sherlock. And demanded an explanation from the sex offender. Anthony Rose defending said... Oh, let's, let's listen to the mitigating circumstances. Anthony Rose defending said Curran, Curran, Curran had struggled to leave his house early this year due to mental health problems. Probably that and the mob that wanted to, to, to tie him up and do him in. He said his instructions were that Curran said his sex offender treatment programme had not yet been arranged for him. Well, obviously that's a lie. Mr Rose said Curran is now receiving medication to control his mental illness. What they're talking about is paedophilia because that's a mental illness and he can't cure it. And he's willing to engage in us with the courses. But the judge said the pervert had failed to attend the meeting day after day and had not turned up for court and conferences with his solicitor. He said his record also showed he'd failed to comply with a previous community order, which was revoked. Judge Trevor Jones said, I've got no confidence at all that you will uh, comply in any meaningful way with this order. He said he would resentence Curran, who started crying and pleaded, I've only just sorted my medication out. Can't, you can't medicate a fucking nonce. Pedo, you can't. The judge replied, you've had 10 months to do that, Curran. Beg please, but the jail, but the judge, but he was jailed for three months. Three months, he'd do six weeks, guys. Joke. He was sent down, he turned and kissed his girlfriend, sitting in the public gallery, shouting, I love you. She has stayed by. She's a mother. She has stuck by her paedophile times two, right? And these are the only two times he's been caught, right? Indecent images of children. The desire's there. Sexual gratification's there. Right? She stayed by him. She's got kids. What the fuck sort of mother are you? You hanging little sket. Dirty, hanging. You can imagine what she looks like, guys. Do you know what I mean? 30 stone, greasy, hanging. She's, by supporting a paedophile and by staying with him, she's putting her kids at risk or she's a paedophile herself. That's the only, the, that's the only conclusion I can come to. The judge sent him for three months, guys. Three months is nothing. Six weeks. Six weeks. Don't want to go to prison, you dirty nons, Craig Curran. Don't download indecent images of children. But you've only got six weeks in prison for two occasions. So you're going to do it again because you cannot be rehabilitated. The only way you can rehabilitate someone is castrate them, put a bullet in their head or hang them. I stay at that. I'm going to leave, the, I'm going to leave this vlog here, guys, fuming. Check out that ginger nonce. 
I can't really say anything of Ginger when I had that beard. But um, yeah, I despise sex offenders. I despise people that hurt children. Despise it. Let me know what you think about this video. Really fucking interested to know what you lot think because I know how ruthless you lot are. On that note, like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.